Good morning folks, welcome to Nova Scotia Ag Fisher Outdoors. Today, after a week of snow, we've got beautiful bright skies, a little bit of rain in the forecast for tonight, but we are headed out for a fish and hike and cook and, and uh, hopefully even a, a hammock camp for the night. So if any of that interests you, stay tuned. It's going to be a great day. So my first start of the day, this little brook here that I'm walking down beside. Uh, little brook my father used to fish when he was a kid from the stories and uh, I try to make a visit or two every year um, just stopped at the first little hole I came to and and caught two brookies one a decent size so I think I shouldn't have any uh, trouble catching three or four to keep for a shore lunch or a little bit uh, to cook over the fire later so I'm going to hike down along here a little ways and uh, get down to a couple of my favorite holes because I don't have a lot of time. And then I'll bring you back and hopefully we can show you some uh, native brook trout. Talk to you soon.
So, just a bunch of small ones for now. The biggest one I caught was the very first one of the day that wasn't on camera. It was eight or nine inches. So, I do have that one for a touch. But, uh, oh, I hope to get one or two more. Just a little bit bigger than what I've been catching for, for supper tonight on the fire. So, we're going to try a few more holes and then. Uh, we're probably gonna have to uh, get moving because huge late start today, so uh, I don't have all day to freak around. So I got two more holes in mind, I think. So we'll see how those pan out, and then we'll hike back out and try to get to the spot where I want to spend the night. So let's see what happens here. So I'm on the start of this, uh, they call around here a multi-use trail. Uh, it's an old road, used to go into an old dam. Uh, and uh, had some four-wheeler traffic by the looks on it. Still plenty of snow around. Uh, just crossed over the uh, river. And uh, wow, compared to the uh, little brook trout stream I was fishing, that was pretty well perfect water height this one is way up so not sure what's up there only drove about 20 minutes to switch locations I've got a couple kilometers hiking to uh, get where I'm gonna hopefully spend the night so if I uh, see anything interesting we'll bring you back otherwise uh, we'll see you when you uh, hit the campsite again we've got about a half a kilometer left uh, having a pretty good walk uh, it's a little bit snow covered seeing some different tracks rabbits squirrel here a fair amount of partridge and, and stuff so been a pretty good little hike doesn't look like anyone's been in here so I don't have to not that I was overly worried about having company, but but uh, this old trail is, well, not very much farther. It just turns into a, a path anyway, so. Anyway, having a little bit of a fun walk with, with the snow, but we're getting there. I can start to hear the, the river again, so. I know that I'm getting handy coming back to her. What do we got here? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ruffle Gross tracks. Heading oh. down in there. Oh, there goes two, three. I don't know if the camera picked them up, but three gross. Might have to take a few walks in here come October. Get the dog some work. Oh, there goes another one. Quite a congregation of them here. At least it was four. Hmm. See, hear the river down in there. Can't quite see it, but I can hear it. All right, well, that was a little bit of excitement. Me stumbling all over the place here. So. Anyway, when I uh, find my camp spot, I'll bring you back. And maybe, just maybe, we might get a little more fishing in. I hope to, really was hoping to try out a new telescopic fly rod by Streamside and uh, give it a whirl, maybe with some big tandem flies for uh, some big chain pickerel this evening. Oh, that will all depend on how long it takes me to get set up. So, Time will tell. Anyway, catch you soon. Alright, so I first, I've been here off and on for pretty well my entire life, but I first camped here uh, 
over 30 years ago so it's good to see uh, it's a nice little spot back here it takes basically a four-wheeler or walk and there's the fire pit it used to be a turnaround spot there used to be a, well there's a dam that maintained was maintained back here it's obviously not any longer anyway this is the path that goes down to the water uh, this is my hammock I'll set up my uh, tarp here after a little bit and uh, just take you for a little walk down in here you can hear the water uh, the lake above here is is uh, dammed up for part of the power uh, Nova Scotia power project plus uh, it's a very popular lake for cottages and stuff like that so they want to have water in it at various times of year for recreational use but uh, for right now it's uh, they must have the dam open because this is an absolute torrent so I don't know how much fly fishing I'll get in tonight we'll have to I'll hike down a little ways and see if I can find a spot but I just wanted to show you so. So you can sort of see there where uh, they brought a bulldozer in, oh, must be 20 or more years ago, and knocked the old cement uh, dam out. Now the, at least the suckers come back up. It, the sucker run still runs pretty thick here in another couple of weeks. And uh, then they pretty much abandoned the place, and the road's pretty well impassable now. Uh, I see there's a few cuttings here and there. Some of them must have, uh, maybe they were bringing snowmobiles in or something during the winter, but uh, it's a rough trip right now. But we're going to enjoy our night here and get set up. I know there's rain coming, so i got to get the tarp set up and uh, get some firewood so I can have an enjoyable evening and cook a couple trout and maybe, just maybe, do a little fly fishing too. So anyway, we'll... Uh, going to do a little camp chores around, get things set up, and uh, then uh, we'll bring you back. Take care. So as luck would have it, uh, I didn't check things over when I received my package, so if you look at my nice fly rod here, new, brand new fly rod, only it's uh, missing the top section. <laughs> So uh, it must have came that way. So uh, the good thing about that is the Streamside's a pretty good company, and they really stand behind their stuff. So I have no doubt that they'll make that right. Uh, I'm going to make do tonight and go give it a shot and see if we can uh, wrangle up a pickerel or a bass. Uh, I've actually caught trout here, pickerel, bass, white perch, yellow perch, and uh, suckers as well. So you never really know, but if uh, kind of expecting that if I do get a crack at something it's probably going to be a pickerel with it being early season and the water being cold and all so anyway we're going to take the fly rod take a walk down the stream and uh, see if we can catch a fish or two and uh, hopefully I'm back before dark so I can uh, cook up those trout for you to see if not I'll just have to take some pictures because uh, I don't have enough lighting here tonight to, to do much filming after dark but Anyway, I'm going to get going and uh, let's see how we make out. Right up on this beaver in the woods. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have had the camera going when he went down, when he was up here. But, wow, that was cool. I'm walking through the woods and going, there's something ahead of me. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Beaver is running right in front of me. Uh, anyway, this is a good looking hole. Don't know if we're gonna catch any fish in it, but it's a good looking hole. I usually wade out to some rocks that are quite a ways out there and fish off them, so I don't even know if I can get to the fishy parts here, but oh well. I don't see where Mr. Beaver went. But I'm sure he'll pop up and show himself again for the night time. Alright, let's get to fishing. I doubt the uh, old GoPro will give it justice from up here, but I thought I'd uh, share the view here a little bit. 
climbed up the hill. There's the lake down below. Little island. She's pretty out there tonight. I didn't uh, catch any fish, but scared a few small pickerel in the uh, shallows, but I'm not too interested in a six inch, seven inch pickerel, so we might go back if the weather's good in the morning. Might go back with the spinning rod and see if they'll take a rapella or something like that. Anyway, I gotta find myself a path here somewhere and try to make my way out of here. So, find my way back to camp and have some grub. No shortage of birch trees. Birch, never heard anybody. All right, well, I'm gonna shut this down, find my trail, and probably get ready to get a fire started. So that's a triple X nor'easter. Great knife for well, wood processing and big jobs and stuff. And uh, I also have the uh, Roman um, bird and trout. Uh, I put that away. I had that on for most of the day. And then when I got here to camp this afternoon, we put the little, uh, we put that away in favor of the wood processor. But right now, I'm just making a, a little top, top thing for uh, with my uh, Groman Bolton. Sport, 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 sport. Make sure I have everything found that I need. I need, let's see. Uh -oh. My makeshift plate. Okay, where's a little Montreal steak spice and garlic olive oil for the couscous. What did I do with my fish? 
There we go. And these are probably going to curl up like a bugger because I always find the trout, the little brook trout, are better the next day. Well, oh, butter is a relative term. They're going to be really good tonight. They're just going to curl up a little bit. Smell of fresh cooked trout first. That's amazing. First ones this year. First day that I got out fishing this year. So. Oh, now doesn't that just look fam dabulous? Have that with a little bit of couscous. With flavor it with garlic, garlic, olive oil, and you have yourself a meal, I do believe. Oh. Now I've seen YouTube videos of people. Skinning them and boning them and oh, taking the tails off of them. It's all good. I don't know why. They're delicious. You can eat the tails just like a, having chips. So, kind of ridiculous if you ask me, but to each their own, I'll eat the whole thing. Ooh. What's going on here? Oops, there goes part of my water. That's okay. Actually, not very much, but.
just going to leave that on for a minute. And then I'll get some twigs and get the fire wound back up while I'm So there is supper for tonight. Three trout, some couscous, and a little bit of whiskey. So I'm going to eat that up, enjoy the fire, and if anything else interesting happens, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Take care. Well, it's morning here in the old hammock. Made it through the night nice and toasty warm with uh, my new setup here. So all's well there. It's been raining for a few hours, and... So the outside world is wet as can be, but them's the breaks. I was kind of expecting that, so I'm going to get up here in a little bit and uh, try to get things packed up and without getting all my gear wet and uh, have a little grub and then get my butt out of here. So uh, I don't know how much filming I'm going to do the rest of the morning, but uh, if anything interesting comes up, I'll certainly uh, turn the camera back on. Hey folks, well, that was a little bit of footage from this spring. I uh, didn't take any footage on the way out. It was rather wet that day. Uh, it's now fall. Uh, just, uh, we're still in the midst of cleaning up after uh, getting hit pretty hard with Hurricane Dorian. Uh, had a couple trees fall in the house. So had some repairs and some stuff to do, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, have some more video footage coming your way in the next coming weeks. And uh, as luck would have it, the dog and I are headed back to the same location that we uh, camped at, or that I camped at that night. Uh, hoping to have a little better luck at some pickerel and have a shore lunch there and spend one night. So uh, that video will be coming your way in the next month or so. 
So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time on Nova Scotia Act Fisher Outdoors. So long, all. Here. You ready to go camping? Huh? You're ready to go camping, aren't you? We gotta get out of here. Nah.